B.S. Pulley. Oh, did I tell you the thing I had with him? Tell me. Oh, God. He caught me marching in May Day. And right away, he writes to Ed Sullivan. And Ed Sullivan, the next day, puts a big, the whole column about me being un-American. Not only that, he raised my suit in, in my uh, dressing suit right in the, in the dressing room. And, and, you know, and I told the guy, and he was reprimanded, but that was an awful thing to do because from then on, you know, it was hard for me to make movies because once the, that thing was there, then what followed after that was uh, Walter Winchell now writes another column. And then Jack O'Brien writes a column. They say, well, why? And I was doing uh, the Dash commercial at the time. I was doing a Dash commercial when Jack O'Brien said, why are you using that pinky? And I would, thank God I was on it about five years before he put that thing. And I had, I had another six months to go. But when his column came out, they canceled the six months. They had the option, you know, that every six months they could renew all. And I was on it for five and a half years, and then the last six months, I was canceled. Thank God it didn't affect me in the theater. I've worked in the theater regardless of anything because in the theater they didn't care about the, it was the McCarthy era, by the way, that this thing happened. That's why everything happened so fast. As soon as he came into existence, boy, so many people were blacklisted. I was blacklisted in the movies. When he came in, I couldn't do any more movies. Couldn't do any more movies because they would all go to John Wayne, there was five of them, John Wayne, Ward Bond, Skolsky, Adolf Manju, and somebody else, I forget. And they, um, uh, before they made a movie, they'd have to call them to tell them if that actor was eligible. And, uh, I, and I remember uh, Jim, Jimmy Cagney was doing a, a movie about unions, you know. And uh, I went there, and everything was fine, you know. They said, you need a haircut, you need this. All of a sudden, a guy calls up those people, and from the back, I saw the guy, and they dismissed me right away. I didn't get the job. Here I thought I had a job. I did it over 2,000 times, the guys and dolls. Oh, I have to tell you this. When I went to England, I wasn't allowed to go any place except work. Because I, my, they, you know, and what happened is I, w I got married there, you know, in England. And what happened is that she went on vacation. I couldn't go. I was banned. I was not allowed to leave because I wouldn't sign that I'm not a communist. And why wouldn't you sign? If because you I, 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 there's none of their business what I am. I'm a, I'm a radical when it comes to that. I don't care what they say. Because when I, why do you think I went into the war? Because I believed in the war. If I didn't believe in the war, I never would have went in. I believed in it because I thought Hitler was bad. In fact, I thought the uh, Spanish War was bad. That's what we went march for, by the way. And uh, that's it. And I wouldn't sign nothing. Not, what for? They got no right to tell me what I have to believe. And that's it. <laughs>